her prayers. She barely made it out of the strip club. But she's home now. And that's... Surprise, shitbird! God damn it! Don't hit him! Kill me! Please! Please! <laughs>
Hey, Lincoln, you ever hear what happened to Gwekko? <laughs> on the cross. Now it's in everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. What the fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. They want my help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidum back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. No, fuck off. I've all the chalky postures once already. Look where it got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You lesson that, you lesson, God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. If anyone's killing that fucking Marcano, that's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There's more stones in the lakes of you that are fucking off. A fucking ingrant. Coming to your question, me. You and your kind, you are caught down run at the first sign of trouble. You always have, you always will. Going for a little ride. What the crazy you think you're doing? You were bragging about your stones, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first the chalky or the mick. You ain't proving nothing. Proving nothing. You're getting me all chubbed up now, Charlie. 
talking. Grace, you're going to make the piss come out of me, Japs, eh? Proving nothing. Picked the wrong man to call out. Oh, there. Our one man may rank pace taken up. Proving nothing. <laughs> all right, all right. You proved your point, your manga, sir. Pull over here. Nah, get the fuck out of my ride. Stop by me shop. We can talk business there. So soon then. Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? Oh, he's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow out of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's piss. White mule. Alley gin. Pot chain, moonshine, you ignorant fuck. Christ, what kind of booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind is not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. 
set the whole thing up myself. Then that gunny fuck comes in and takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. Barbary has gonna suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I run is that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribe. Drags in there. That's the end there. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh-huh. Once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. I'll do more than step up. And I'll be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, it'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> and yes, and hot ones. A nation once again In the Ireland long A province be a nation Once again Over here. Surprised to see you, Nikki. I know what you're planning on doing. And I couldn't just sit here and watch my old man send you out half-cocked. Fuck. Well, your dad's never been much for details. Yeah, what he didn't tell you is that the man running the Sweetwater Distillery is named Carl Bevers. Hard ass Country asshole. His family runs the shine through the business, sells it to local shops. Bevers ever let on to where he keeps his stills? Uh, he's got brains enough to move things around. Rumor is, he's got a map hid somewhere for his drivers. Hmm. Something like that could come in handy. Maybe I'll convince one of his men to tell me where it is. Hey, we've got another man. Goes by the name of Bear. Keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. You know what Bevis is up to. You're gonna have to get at some of his people. When this bullshit with my old man's through... You and me should talk. Bevis moonshine hasn't been the same since the butcher came in and fucked the business sideways. Looking pretty spry for a man who took a bullet to the head. When he boxed, they used to call him Brooklyn Bevers, on account that he'd hit some poor fuckers so hard they'd feel it all the way in Brooklyn. Word of advice, be careful mentioning the butcher around my old man.
lot in front of my place. My tax dollars a week. Greetings and salutations and all that shit. Send me. Oh, I'm gonna marry that girl someday. Bear Donnelly. I own Nicky's da. Everything. He has me keeping an eye on the Robert O. Meatpacking plant. Who's running things over there? Not job by the name of Sonny Blue. Let's a room out to the butcher's loan sharks. Protection guys, too. If they can't do it there, they put their hurt to people in the street. Any chance Sonny's around the Robert O? Fuck no. Sonny only comes around to scare his people into shape. But I'm here and one of his boys, a fella named Ralph, got caught skimming. They're working the bloody bastard over in the slaughterhouse to find out where he's got it stashed. Might be beneficial to pull his arse out of the fire. I'll see what I can get out of Sonny's goons. Watch your ass, Bill. Blue's people are scared of him. Might not talk. Why not make him more scared of you? All the bad ones, all the ones that who lie to your face stay around that's what i've seen anyway all the good ones